somebody asked me so what i'm gonna show y'all is how i do my tail light might be different ways of doing this but this is the way i get it done so first of all take this off pretty quick okay so first of all this little piece right here when you get your scooter and you take your little battery apart and your little your little side deals this is gonna come equipped with this little deal already inside of it. So make sure y'all keep this. If not, y'all gonna have to hardwire some wires together. You know what I mean? It's better for you to just keep the connector. That way just plug and play. So. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. Another thing is look. Y'all can see the wire feeding down into the scooter. It's a black wire. There's a rubber seal around it. Black and red wire, man. Y'all want to cut into that black wire and connect each side to this kill switch. So this is what the step-down converter looks like. This is what the rating is. It's the input is 9 to 36 volt. Output is 12 volts, 5 amps. Y'all got to be aware, man, because some of these 36 volts, they only hold 36 volts. So sometimes it's better for you to get like a... Uh, 9 to 52 volt or 9 to 72 volt step down it doesn't hurt it'll still work okay so for the output you got your black and yellow wire like i said that's going to your tail light 12 volts that's going to your tail light the input which is 36 volts it's gonna wire directly to your battery pack in my case i wired it directly to my controller main leads positive and negative Y'all can see, here it is right here. And that's that, man. Y'all just wanna get your black hardwired into this black, the red hardwired into the red. Put you some tape, make sure they don't touch. From there, you're good. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. And now you got action. It is, man, ain't nothing to it. Show y'all what I got going on. All these wires on the back of the board. I just want to show y'all really quick, man. It's a live board. I got it connected, so I don't want to touch anything. But the blue wire is that's one of the bypasses, man. That's third speed. So the yellow and green wire, that's for the headlight. Red and white wire is going to the different. I, I installed a little sleeve of LED lights, man. I had them laying around the house, so I just went on ahead and took them out. About to go ahead and put those on the scooter, see what happens. That's what that looks like. Being said, man, that red and white wire, see what it's going to. Red wire's on a five volt, white wire's on the ground. Yes, sir, that's it. Put together my Bird 3 scooter. Tail light works, headlight works. The only problem I'm having is, man, as y'all can see, I put some LED lights on the bottom of the deck, but it's not, um, it's interfering. When I cut my headlight on, those lights down there would dim out, so. Let's see what I'm talking about. I just took these LED lights off the bottom of my scooter. Long strip. Had it going all the way on the opposite of this side on the bottom of the deck. You know what I mean? But it wasn't all that good. Okay, so if y'all gonna run y'all some LED lights on the bottom, y'all wanna go ahead and get y'all something like this. Uh, step down to 5 volts instead of 12. This 12 volt is for that back light get y'all a five volt if y'all plan on getting y'all some led lights or anything like that that way it can run off of its own little power bank instead of having to share a power bank because doing that i was actually taking power from this <clears throat> and i know that because every time i powered on my light those bottom strobes would dim out they would dim a lot so i had to go back and take that off but another thing man a lot of people are having issues with the throttle not engaging okay this scooter works um another thing i want to point out that i had an issue with okay so y'all see my little kill switch got it connected everything here goes the resistor right here i want to point this out man so it turns out you have to have a resistor running with your headlight okay now i had this running without this resistor for maybe a few hours and i was stuck i was confused 
scooter was at a standstill, man, it was to the point where I turned my light on, this wouldn't work unless it was turned off. Then the scooter would run. I'm like, okay, well, I can't ride the scooter at night. I have to go home and take some stuff apart. So what I did was, it still had no resistor at that time. All I did was swap out wires and it was still giving me the same problem. I had to turn my light off in order for me to drive the scooter because when it's on, it's not gonna engage. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and put a resistor back on this deal. Bam, I put that resistor on there and the scooter works. It should, works like normal. So yeah, man, y'all have any issues, man? Y'all might wanna check this out. By the way, it's a 30 ohm resistor. All right, so I just closed my whole scooter up. Ain't no wires pinch or anything like that. So y'all can get an idea, man. This is what the back of the kill switch looks like after the cover's already put on. Y'all see, I got this little space. I put tape on my connections. And y'all can see that this wire's coming out through the back and coming in through here where the hub motor wire goes. All right, so I did that. That way it won't overlap. And you know what I mean? Leave a gap in this seal right here, this black seal. So I just simply cut some of this black deal off to where, to where both wires can fit in here. And I just got it coming through, sitting here, coming in like that, coming out to the side. Just like that. You don't have to worry about that touching the tire or anything like that. From there, you want to put your, um, put your back deal on. All right, so y'all want to put this side in first. Put your back deal in first. Push down. Make sure those tabs go over. There you go. See those tabs? Make sure they go over the left side and push back. That way you can, there you go. Get your holes to line up. Get your screws. Second and my last one. From there, my screw will be complete. That's it.